we are continuing this discussion today. I have with me president and founder of the International Center for Tax Research and Development, Mrs. Morenike Babintin Ashai. Thank you very much for your time and good afternoon. Ma. Good afternoon, Tulu. It's been a while. It's good to have you on the show. Ah, yes, it has been. L let's start with constitutional provisions with regards to taxation. Before we go to VAT and tax reforms, tell us really what is the administrative procedures or what are the administrative procedures? Well, with regards to taxation, we have a sort of, you know, for me, I, I look at our constitution like a confused instrument. And it's actually been misguiding the federal government for very long time. With regards to taxation, uh, taxation is under the exclusive legislative list. Exclusive legislative list is not synonymous to exclusive executive list because the National Assembly is meant for the whole federation. It's not for the federal government. But because we have been under, uh, under military government for too long a time, what the military has been doing is what is being done right now. There hasn't been a change. The only change to our democracy is that we go and elect the people that we want. But the administrative aspect of democratic setting is not there. So you still feel the, the, the federal government believes that taxation is for me, you know, whereas it is not. It's under exclusive legislative list. Of course, we have the House, the House of Assembly. The, the, the National Assembly is for the Federation. And once it's for the Federation, you know, in our constitution, you say that, oh, Nigeria is a Federation. And it has been divided into three. You have the federal, you have the state, and you have the local government. But unfortunately, that instrument keep confusing federation with federal, federation with federal. That is the constitution itself. So looking as if, you know, the, 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 the constitution is giving the president total control over, you know, the federation. And it shouldn't be. If there's anything going to affect the federation, it has to be the president or the governors coming together mm. to decide. That is what it's supposed to be. Mm. But that is not what is going on in practice. The federal government would have done something before consulting or before telling the governors this is what we are doing or this is what we have done. There are so many, we, we have a lot of tax reforms now that well, going on a, lo a lot of it, a lot of it. I, uh, I think it's good because since we had the national tax policy, it's good for us to be following the national mm. tax policy. And I think for the past 20 years, nothing like this has come up. Mm. Uh, but you know, during uh, Mrs. Uh, Adi Oshun time, we had the national tax policy. The only thing I quarrel with the national tax policy is the definition of taxation or definition of tax. Because if you tell me that tax is something I have to pay and I do not have a direct benefit from what I'm paying, mm -hmm. then you are not motivating me to pay tax. So that section one, two of the national tax policy has to be looked into. Now there's so, something that, that, that worries me and it has to do with constitutional provisions with regards to this sharing formula, federal, state, and local governments. I know some constitutions uh, speculate or speaks to what tax should be used for, but is that the same case when you look at Nigerian constitution, which you've actually spoken about uh, in the start of this discussion? Yeah, we, it's very unfair because when you say you want to share according to land mass, you want to share according to hospital beds, <laughs> Who are the sick people that you need to have hospital beds for before you go to the hospital and start counting how many beds? And that is the one you will now use to uh, assess. It's very unfair. The, the kind of sharing formula we have now does not look into federalism. And the tax policy says we must play along with federalism. So that is not being practiced. You know, it's going to be very difficult for us to move from military era 
because the military also returned to British rule. And under democratic rule, we are finding it difficult to get ourselves out of slavery because the whole setup of the constitution at the moment as it is, is like we are under, you know, under bondage. That's what I can see it because the governors do not have authority over what they yes. should have authority over, yeah. you know. And I, 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 I say that if you, have, if you have a family and then you say, my first son, you are in charge of this whole house. And then you say, my second son, you are in charge of that room. My third son, you are in charge of that one. Then by the time the second and the third want to use their rooms, then the first child will say, don't you know I have the control all mm -hmm. over the house. If you want to do anything, you have to take permission from me. Oh, granted, yeah, daddy said you can use that room one. But I'm, con I'm, I'm controlling the whole house. So that is the way our constitution is. And it's not going to help us. If we continue with this constitution, for the next 20 years, we are not going anywhere. <laughs> That's really worse. Yes. Let, 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 we have to touch VAT. <clears throat> it's very important. It's the talk of the town. Everybody's talking about VAT, VAT. Uh, but my research shows that it's charged when you add value to production chain or supply uh, services. Now, what are the complications? What do we expect with this? What's coming up in few? I think in few days now and in hours because we are moving to February, just very closely. For, for me. I think there was an executive error in the Finance Act. So taxation is about time, timing, timing. In the Finance Act, the commencement for all those different tax, because they're about, you know, you have VAT, companies income tax, capital gains tax, petroleum, and so on. They will definitely have different starting date. This VAT now, you know, I, I'm sure the minister will have to look into it. And that is why I'm saying, I, I, I said earlier, that there could be, there should have been a transitional period. Mm. For example, for VAT, I might have signed an invoice, I might have paid you last year, and say, okay, first quarter of this year, you are coming to do the job. And our, uh, the, 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 the law is based on when the service is rendered and I have already paid you, not knowing so that there's going to be 7.5. So what is going to happen? Am I now going to look for 2.5 to it's pay? Ads. So there should have been a transitional provision that if you have contracted, if you have uh, paid for certain goods and services before the commencement of this VAT, then you don't need to pay extra. If you look at our port, we have a lot of containers within there. But they've not been able to process to get to the point of paying VAT. What is going to happen? <laughs> By the time they get there, February 1st, they will now have to go around and be looking for 2.5% in addition to the 5% they had planned to pay. So you see, it, 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 government can be taken from one hand and be losing from the other because this additional cost is going to get government lose certain income from companies. So I will advise that there should be a transitional yeah. provision. Okay. If you had contracted before the commencement of the VAT, you had paid, then you don't need to pay additional. If your container arrived before the cons uh, commencement of VAT, you don't need to pay extra. That is the only thing that can make business people comfortable. Very importantly. Now, I was at a gathering to analyze VAT, finance bill, and all of that. And the issue of company income tax came in again. And this appears to be good news in the company's income tax reform. Is this really a reform? I think it's good. I love it, you know. Uh, because there are so many, we've been saying it for quite a long time. There are a lot of confusion. Because you know our tax uh, provisions, where, uh, the, the tax law, is like we took it over from, uh, from uh, the British. British. Why the British keep, you know, re reforming their own, we are just there. <laughs> for a good 20 years, nothing has happened. 
So, but this company's uh, tax reform is good. Actually, I, the, what, uh, the, the reform we are having now is beautiful. You know, I, the minister said there are, lo there are others coming, but I just will advise her that the finance bill is supposed to have been approved by the National Assembly before the budget. You don't take it, you don't take it to the House together because it's the Finance Act that is going to give you the confidence on how to prepare your revenue mm -hmm. budget. Mm -hmm. Now, coming to the issue of companies' income tax, the, the one I love is for the SMEs, that 25,000, yeah. uh, 25, 25 million? million down, you don't pay, yeah. is good. But there should have been a clause, because what the minister said was that they want, the S, they want SMEs to have more money to be able to plow back. So how do we, how are we to make sure that we allow the law to help them plow back? The way it is now, they may, they may not. But if there had been a clause that, yes, you are not going to put, uh, pay tax, provided we can see that tax element plowed back into your business. So mm -hmm. the issue of people now saying, oh, yes, 25 million, let me have three or four companies, I have 100 million, let me have three or four companies so that I will not pay tax. tax. It will not come up. come up. Because you know when the tax man comes, he is going to ask you, this is, madam, this is how much you should pay, this is how much your company should pay. Yes, what have you done with that money? So it will not be free. Because taxation, you know, everybody has to pay something. Even if it is one naira a year you are paying. <laughs> It, you makes pay you, it makes you to be a member of the community. Well, it's always you good know. when you get return too. When you're paying to government and you get, you get commensurate supply, you have um, basic that, amenities. That, 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 that is a must. And that is why I don't like our constitution. You know, on one hand, our constitution says you don't have right to ask questions from government what they do with your money. If you go to chapter 2 of the constitution that deals with the fundamental objectives, and directive of uh, uh, directive principles of the state policy, it now tells government what government has to do. Health, you know, for example, employment benefits. If you are unemployed, the constitution says you must get employment benefits. We have not been practicing that in Nigeria. You see, the total tax we pay, government just believe that is for spending. No, you are supposed to be saving part of that for that individual, in case one day he's not going to be employed. So maybe for a year or a year and a half, like they do in France, you know, you are able to be getting unemployment benefits almost close to what you, you must have been earning, something that can make you feel comfortable. That is a, it's in the constitution, but no government has practiced it. That you have been working, you have been paying taxes, and all of a sudden, you lose your job, you must get unemployment benefit. So that pending the time you are able to get another job, at least you feel like a human being. So they, 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 these are issues that we, of course, governments are, governments are trying. Okay, what I, I, I like to get that fact. At least it's a step in the right direction. Yeah, governments are trying. For example, in Lagos State recently, I think they have uh, the National Health Insurance. Yeah. Yeah. And they are actually interested in making sure that the poor, you know, the poor people are also catered <laughs> for. I think I'm but proud of paying my tax in Lagos, actually. <laughs> yeah, it, 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 it's good. Even in Lagos State, you also have that everybody, once you are a taxpayer, they have a corporate uh, service for you mm. without paying. Because a lot of people do not know. They think, oh, if I go to the tax office, oh, I'm doomed. No, you can go there. Tell them your problem, and they will help you to solve it without getting one cover from you. But a lot of people do not know that you can walk into Lagos State Internal Revenue Service mm -hmm. and get assistance. So uh, uh, the issue of um, what do I get in return? Yeah, that is why. Now. Yeah, that's why I said I quarrel with that section one two of the national tax policy. You must know that you are going to get something in return. If my road, if the roads are paved and I'm able to you know, move yeah. without any 
any issue. I'm getting something direct. If I go to the hospital and I'm able to get good service, I'm getting something direct. What I would even like all governments to do, that they have to educate those who are working in the public service. Because, you see, people are willing to pay the right taxes. What they are quarreling with are the wrong taxes. Ask me what are the wrong taxes. Hmm, let's round up with that. The wrong yeah, taxes. because if you go <laughs> to any government office today, you want to do anything, they ask you to bring something before you do it. That's mm. wrong tax. Mm. If mm. you go maybe NAVDAC or any other establishment, you want to do something, you can't get anything free. Those are wrong taxes that people are complaining about, that business people are complaining about. If I pay my taxes, why can't I walk into government office and get things done mm. quickly? And, uh, you know, without any yeah. harassment for finance or for, I mean... Uh, <laughs> I, see, I see that passion there. President and founder of International Center for Tax Research and Development. We sure will have a part two of this discussion because I think the message really needs to be pushed on. Thank you so much for your time on the show, breaking it down, all that has to do with taxation, Nigerian government. Uh,